Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to another episode of Beam NG Quickies. Today we have another banger from Car Pal. Uh, quite literally, because if I push the up button. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Uh, so that was not a bomb. I just want to put that out there right now. It is in fact a supersonic ballard. Ballard? Is that how you say these? I don't know how to pronounce that word. So yeah, there it is right there. Usually the way these work is they slowly lift up and they stop a car from going down a road. But this one keeps going very, very, very fast. Uh, supersonic speeds, uh, I guess you could say. And it just completely obliterates whatever is on top of it, as you, uh, as you can see. Let's do it again, shall we? Only this time, uh, let's do it in slow motion because it's fun. And I want to see this <laughs> They basically disintegrate uh on impact here now I, I i imagine i probably need to go very 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 slow motion here so as slow as we can possibly go now as you can see it's a little bit uh, under the back axle there but i really don't think it's gonna matter one little bit so let's go ahead and make sure we're in slow motion here and push up now how fast is this oh it's very fast oh it goes straight through the truck <laughs> oh my goodness gracious let's go a little faster here yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the cab has been ripped from the frame. Oh my goodness, that is that is a lot of force. I guess it just goes straight to space. Hold on, where does it go? Actually, can I like <laughs> can I like keep an eye on it? Hold on, if I just point this straight up, can I like see where it's going? It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Wait, no, I can. I see like two pixels. I'm, you know, well, it's might as might as well say it's in space. That's pretty much uh, where it is. So uh, let's try that again. Only let's try something that's maybe a little bit tougher. So what's like the toughest car we have? Uh, you know, I want to say probably the Stambeco, but I still don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna matter one bit uh, what our car is made of here. So. So, I mean, it's it's wishful thinking, really, but uh, we're still going to try it. Maybe it won't be as completely devastated as something like the uh, regular D series. We're going to get back a little bit here and pay jump. <laughs> oh, God. How are we looking? Oh, fold it over. Front tires are touching the back tires. Never a good sign. I feel like it would be really sick to like add an explosion. Uh, to this. Maybe I'll do it in VFX here. Three, two, one. Boom! <laughs> oh, man. We didn't get as much airtime that time. I mean, our car is still completely busted, but honestly, the Stambeco took it pretty, pretty good, I would say. About as good as you could hope for, to be uh, completely honest. All right, so we've done a regular car. We've done a tough one. Let's do a flimsy, but very, very expensive. And I want to do the Scintilla because I know for a fact uh, that this thing can be ripped clean in half. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping for something like if I park it on the front, like right here. Oh, 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 that's the middle. Don't want that. Don't want that. If I get it like kind of over the front, I'm hoping now, when I push this button, the, the, the back of the car is going to stay right where it is, and the front's just going to go flying. That's what I'm hoping for. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, my God. We got sent on that one. That it had to be at least 300 feet up in the air, right? Look how clean this cut is. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, let's do it again. Only this time, where's the, oh, I lost it. Oh, it's right there. I, I want to get it right in the middle, like a clean cut right down the middle of this thing. Oh, we can't even get onto this without destroying it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, my God. I think the front got a little more uh, air. Wow. I'd say that's a home run. It's like a piece of the Titanic landing like three miles or whatever it is away from the front of the boat. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've done expensive. Now we need to do ginormous. So I'm thinking the bus, obviously. Uh, and, you know, we'll use the hero. I mean, <laughs> the rockets ain't going to help us here, uh, but it kind of fits the theme. So 
We'll go right in the middle here. Right about there. Beautiful. So is it going to be ripped in half? I don't think the bus can be ripped in half, at least not this version. Uh, but let's see what happens. Three, two, one, and launch it. <laughs> you can see it just goes straight through the bottom of this thing, straight through the entire bus. Again, just basically bends in half. Hold on. I'll, I'll bring it the other way. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. The, do the rockets still work? They do not. All right. What else should we do? I I want to do it to like every, maybe something tiny now. How about the Wydra? This thing's actually kind of hard to break, so I'm kind of curious. I feel like it's probably just going to launch the entire vehicle. Uh, oh, it's starting to break the game. Oh, no. You know you're having a lot of fun when the cars start to not work right off the bat. <laughs> there we go. We get it a little bit more centered. There we go. Perfect. Right in the middle. So we are going to get absolutely launched here. You ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, and send it. Oh, my God. The tires just flying off in every direction. How high did we get up here, man? Very. <laughs> that might have been like 500 to 1,000 feet up in the air. <laughs> My goodness. And we have broken the Wydra. Very, very hard to do. Uh, so, what if we try to uh, a pigeon? Because, you know, why not? Or how about a widget? We haven't, we haven't checked out the widget in a while. We'll go with Pond Skipper, my favorite of the bunch. And, uh, oh. Oh, don't you hate it when you accidentally uh, replace the thing you're using? There we go. Supersonic bolide. There we go. Okay, so now we can park it right on top here. And push the big red button. <laughs> this is a weapon. This is not just a, a prop. This is a full-on weapon. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, and... S oh! And that broke the game. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? I guess the uh, the widgeon might be a tad unstable, but uh, that's okay. I, I put it a little bit off center this time. Maybe that'll help us. <laughs> you know, that's something that just uh, doesn't really get old, does it? Oh my god! And there's nothing left. Nothing left at all. All right, so let's do one more. Uh, but which one should it be? That's the question. It's got to be the travel trailer, the standard. So it has all the fixings, all the toilets, all the everything are just going to go flying in every which way. So let's get it right there. Perfection. And this is going to be a big boom, guys. we got to step back. There's going to be a lot of debris. And here we go. Three, two, one. Let's line it up a little bit better. Three, two, one. And What? Did I just shoot it? <laughs> they shoot straight through the top? You're kidding me. You <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe we gotta push push it again. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it just goes straight through it. I think it's moving so fast. The game just does not know what to do. <laughs> it does not know how to do those those collisions. Uh, wow. Okay. Did not see that coming. Yeah. It just shoots. <laughs> That's a little anticlimactic, wouldn't you say? Maybe if I drag it a little bit so it hits the axle, maybe that can give us the explosion we want. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. No. It just, go <laughs> it just goes straight through it, man. That is bizarre. Very bizarre. Okay. I'll try one more thing here. Maybe if I just kind of tip it on its side. And then drag it over. Maybe that can get us some sort of explosion. Could you not tip over? I want you to be tipped over. Okay. Okay. Acting very weird. We got to be quick. We got to be quick. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes. There we go. Not as dramatic as I would have wanted, but, uh, you know, we still exploded it to an extent. It definitely works better on cars, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, that is the Supersonic Ballard. Ballard? However you say it. This was, uh, made, again, made by CarPal, BeamNG, uh, YouTuber and skilled modder. He posts all of these things on his uh, Patreon, so if you want to try them out for yourself, I'll have it linked down below. And while you're down in the description, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I post stuff like this all the time. You don't want to miss it. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you 
in the next one. Bye-bye.